You know, you can imagine life here can be difficult. And you can just imagine having difficult life here, leaving behind difficult situations. Actually, even when I was on my way to Africa, my mother told me that, you know, we don't want you to go. And if, and if you go, don't consider us your family anymore. We don't want to have anything to do with you. And she actually committed, tried to commit suicide and took a whole bunch of pills. They had to break in her house and pump her stomach and take the pills out. And she said, well, it's because I don't have anybody. And since you're going to Africa, there's nobody here to take care of me. Um, and so I just decided this is the best thing to do. And my brother who had just went, my, my brother, when I got born again, my brother went to prison two months later. And so when he came out that same week, I was leaving from Gary coming here to Colorado Springs. And he couldn't believe it. He said, I'm getting out. Now, how can you? You know, where are you going? You're my little brother. You're supposed to be here to look out for me and be here to make sure I'm okay. And I said, I got to go, man. God has called me. And that doesn't make sense to everybody. And so he kind of turned his back on me a little bit. Um, but God has been faithful. I'm just saying that when God calls you to do something, there's a lot of resistance that comes with it. And it really is the grace of God to actually start something and continue it. And, and I'm praying that I'll also be able to finish it. So I just want you to know that all my part has been is cooperating, seeking God daily, saying yes to God daily when it hurts, when it doesn't make sense, when everything in your life is screaming against the word that God has given you. I just learned not to look at my situation. I learned not to look at the moment.